Please. Thank you, Mr Chair, and thank you to the committee. Um, I'm putting this debate forward because this is a, a long-standing, long-running injustice and sore uh, affecting every single constituency across the United Kingdom. Um, I know that there may be a feeling that we have debated this issue extensively in the past, but I checked with the House of Commons Library. It has not been debated um, in over eight months, and by the time the debate comes around, um, it might be well over nine, nine and a half months. Uh, and there have been um, some developments. We've had research from the IFS talking about the level of homelessness, self-harm and suicidal thoughts suffered by some of the hardest hit WASPy women um, in our constituencies. And there's also been new research by an organisation called Back to 60, which has also backed up some of the worst um, fears that we've had about the effect on WASPy women. And we've seen, of course, recently um, demonstrations from Mosby women coming to Parliament in a desperate act to have their voices heard. And I think, um, as you can see, there's widespread cross-party support. Um, and if I had, if the committee requires that I can get another hundred names, I think. We know from, the, from past experience that WASPy debates have been hugely oversubscribed. There is a lot of interest in this issue. And the WASPy women are asking us to be their voice in this place as they grapple with this terrible injustice and I think it's our duty to, to let their voices be heard. Alex, please. As, as we expect from a member of the committee, it's very well put together application. Um, as you said, I mean, I attended both debates um, last year. The first one at Westminster Hall uh, was so full I had to sit on a table um, and obviously I couldn't speak from that position. And then the second one, which was on a Thursday in the chamber, was also very well attended, and, and there was a time limit on speeches. So you've written that you want it in either. Isn't this debate too big for Westminster Hall? Should you not be looking for chamber time? Absolutely. If it were my choice, I would have it in the chamber. But I'm being a member of the committee. I'm very mindful that the business is very, very backed up, um, and I suspect if I insisted that this should take place in the chamber, that the committee would probably not be able to accommodate me to perhaps even after Christmas, which I think is perhaps a, a, a stretch too far. Um, if the chamber, if the, if the committee wishes to offer me Westminster <laughs> Hall, then of course I would take it with both hands. Okay. Bob? Yeah, um, Patricia, you're right that this has been debated long and loud. It's been going on for a long time. Uh, and you're asking for another general debate without necessarily a specific ask, i.e. a motion, before the House on which the House can make a decision. As I recall, the House has considered motions and, and passed them. Uh, why a general debate? Why not a specific uh, request for action to be taken by the government? Well, the reason, the reason I didn't ask for a divisible motion was because I was trying to be inclusive to all parties in the House in, to, to frame the debate in an, an arena in a way that they would be comfortable with supporting um, the tabling of. Um, the government will set out its case as to why it, it will not um, offer further transitionary support for these women. Um, and by doing that, that might make it difficult for the debate to be truly cross-party in the way that I wish. I will certainly in the debate be calling for, for such support. Um, but I, I think it's, it's incumbent of all of, in all of us, regardless of how we think this issue should be resolved, um, to, to be the voice for our constituents who are so badly affected. Um, so the, the reason for not having a divisible motion was to try to be as inclusive as possible and not to ask people to support a particular position, but to allow them to air their concerns. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Anyone else, please? <coughs> in that case, Patricia, thank you very much for your application.